Step 7. Create a simple Spring Boot project. So now we have all the items. We have Java as our programming language already installed. We have IntelliJ as our interface already installed. We have SQL Server as our database. The database name is company DB. The table name is department already created. And let's go and create our REST API using Spring Boot. So we will be going to the website start.spring.io. Now this website provides a Spring initializer. So whenever we want to create a Spring Boot project, we need to come to this website. It creates for us a simple Spring Boot project. So what I am going to choose, I am going to choose here Maven as our project manager language as java uh, spring boot version i will choose 2.7.6 name i will give com dot and artifact i will give rest api now spring initializer provides the basic steps what should be the package name who should be the package manager what programming language spring should consider and what are the dependencies so we are creating a rest api from a microsoft sql server database so let's go to the place dependencies and add the dependencies so first i need driver for microsoft sql server so i will type so you can see ms sql server driver the major dependencies will be coming in this place second i want to create rest api so i need spring web because this dependency is used to create restful web services next i need jpa because what i want to do i don't want to write any queries and queries should be automatically generated by spring so i'm going to install jpa spring data jpa to work with the getters and setters and all the boilerplate code what we do we install one more dependency called lombok it's a wonderful tool which generates boilerplate code like the getters and setters and constructor everything for our spring project so now my project looks okay i have my project manager as maven language as java i choose version 2.7.6 gave the group name com.alloy mobile artifact name as rest api and we have dependencies ms sql server spring web spring data jpa and lombok we will choose java version also as 11 and package as jar because spring already have tomcat installed inside it so if we package as jar we don't need to deploy it on external tomcat it will automatically be deployed in springs embedded tomcat okay and i will click now on generate that's it this generates a simple spring project with our required dependencies what we will go now we will go to the location where my project is created uh, I'm going to unzip it. I will open the project. Now, Spring has created all the files here. Uh, you remember we installed GitHub and we have a repo already. So, I'm going to do what? I will copy these contents from here and we will go to documents and find out our package, what we already installed so it was i think api rest see the readme file is there and i'm gonna dump all the files here so what is the benefit of this once i keep the files here these files can be immediately sync with github i can send all the code to github i can commit them from here i'll be having version control on my code if i miss something i can go back to the previous version somebody i can ask to collaborate also it will be able to collaborate with them and at the end if i am setting a devops pipeline 
the DevOps pipeline can automatically take the code from GitHub, perform the test cases and deploy the code to our respective servers. So now let's go to IntelliJ and once you open IntelliJ, it will ask us to create a new project or open. Our project is already created. So I will click on open and I'm going to give the path documents API rest hit open. Now Spring is pretty clever. It already understood it's a Maven project. So it is reading the pom.xml file. pom.xml file is same as package.json in node if you have worked with node. So if you see this Spring is reading the application, you can see it's downloading all the dependencies now. And if I go inside, Spring Boot is a framework which we are using here to create REST API. Spring Boot has two major features. One is invasion of control and second is dependency injection. So invasion of control, Spring will take the control of your application. So if you see here, if I go inside the source main, uh, this, this is the Java file Spring creates, the main file. We all know. Uh, all Java program starts with main and it already annotated as Spring Boot application. So Spring takes control of my application and creates all the beans and perform the required operation. So this is the project structure. This project structure is created by Maven. Uh, if I go to pom.xml, you can see all our configuration items are here. What we mentioned there, com.alloy mobile. REST API, you can see my dependencies are there, JPA, web, JDBC we installed there and we took Lombok. So we have all our dependencies here. Mm. If you see the project structure, SRC source code, they have already clearly mentioned the main will be the code and all the test code will be inside our test. Inside main, we have configurations which are inside the resource folder and we have our code which will be inside this uh, application folder. So this is pretty much the structure for our app API created through Spring Boot. All the external libraries are here on which Spring depends to create our API and the project manager which is, which is managing all the artifacts and will create our package is Maven. Maven has its own lifecycle hooks means it will clean, it will validate. We just need to give the command by Maven and Maven will automatically run and perform all the activities. Thank you.